All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a couple of updates regarding the, the new AMD CPUs. We got an update regarding the ARM feature, I guess is the only way that I can think to explain it with the new CPUs from Qualcomm and Apple and other ARM type CPUs. We got an update regarding Intel, filling people full of a bunch of BS. And because of that, people are uh, swapping over to AMD. So let's go ahead and start this video out with AMD starting to ship the AMD Ryzen 9000 series CPUs to people that are just very big and massive and are going to be paid to review the CPU to tell you what you want to hear. Except for a handful of those people. Look, just being real with you, money. If you are paid to do something, your opinion will change. If you have access to new things before anybody else, guess what? Your opinion will change. Let me just take a moment here to ask you a question. If you yourself right now in this very moment, this situation as in right now, let's say Nvidia sends you an RTX 5090 just out of the blue and there's a note in it saying, make a video on this. Is your opinion not going to change as if you paid for it with your own money? I'm, I'm just, I'm genuinely asking you a question. Would your opinion not change? There's a reason you don't see me take brand deals ever. <laughs> One, it loses respect because I'm just being real with you. How many times have you ever seen an advertisement, a brand deal or a sponsorship and immediately not hated that company? <laughs> Cause I know I sure do. Anytime that somebody starts talking about an advertisement in the middle of a video, I instantly hate that company. If it's Netflix, never watching Netflix again. If it's AMD, we'll never use an AMD product ever again. If it's Nvidia, they'll definitely use an Nvidia product again because unfortunately it's impossible to not use Nvidia at this stage. But anyways, that's really all I need to say. I'm not, again, I'm not like trying to take a dump on everybody guys. There are, there is a handful of people that I always watch like Linus Tech Tips. Yes, I understand that he has made some mistakes, but listen, man, he's a huge creator. And quite frankly, he's a big inspiration of mine. Like I'm very similar to Linus. He's just like, not like similar to him in regards to like the type of channel, but like that personality, that like goofy personality, man. Like it's nice to see another person that can just have fun enjoying what they're doing and seeing success with that. Because as far as I'm concerned, dude, to be any of Linus's channels, like tech linked is good. Um, obviously Linus tech tips. And then the, uh, quickie tech quickie is a good one. He's got like five different channels and I'm just, I'm trying, I can't remember all of them. Jay's two cents is another trustworthy person. Um, hardware unboxed and then uh there's one more that i really want to say and it's really annoying me that i can't think of them bitwit is another i oh my goodness bitwit hasn't made a video in a long time um whatever you get my point there's just uh whatever <laughs> there's not many people that you can trust dude so just be careful with who you end up watching your review from because the odds are if AMD is sending somebody an AMD CPU, it is because they're an AMD fanboy and they're sending it to them because they know they're going to say nothing but good shit about their new thing. <laughs> Real quick, just wanted to say that if you would like a PC from me, my Facebook business page is linked down in the description below. I do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts, which I do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before I order it all with my own money. You do not pay me anything until you see the video, the performance, the benchmarks, and all of that kind of stuff. So again, link down in the description below. <gasps> It's, and it's just, it's so obvious the creators that, that are going to do that, where it's like every video is like, oh, AMD is going to take over Intel. Oh, and ga game over for NVIDIA, Radeon inbound. Oh, this and this and that. And it's like, dude, how about you just like stop like taking a dump on everybody like I'm doing right now. So... <laughs> <laughs> ARM introduces accuracy superhero resolution derived from AMD FSR 2 and open source. Almost mispronounced that. 
So I'm guessing that this is for the new Qualcomm CPUs that are going to be releasing pretty er, Yeah, they're not out yet. I'm going to feel really stupid if they're out right now. <laughs> uh, the Qualcomm CPUs is where I was what I'm guessing this is going to be about. The ARM team developed the demo using Unreal Engine, a version not specified. Hold up. All right, I feel pretty stupid at this very moment right now. ARM ASR. Brother. All right, well, I'm going to take a moment to actually read this article. Today, ARM introduced a new upscaler for mobile. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> hey, it took you the first sentence to figure it out, buddy. But anyways, that's really all I need to say. I'm, I'm sure that it's just the chart. Whoa. Oh, sweet. I didn't know I could do that with my mouse. Swap images. Oh, my God. Those graphics, though. Holy moly. I mean, to be fair, it is better. FSR. All right. So we got Ground Truth, which looks good. We have Arm SF, Arm ASR. Ha! <laughs> Yo, it's... <laughs> Yo, it's already better than the FSR. <laughs> Whoa, look at... Yo, would you please let me... Hold up, I'm going to do something. Because I'm trying to... Hold on, actually, you know what I'm going to do? There we go. Rather than zooming in and out so that I can show you... Look at everything. The ARM ASR, the new new is better than AMD's FSR. I think that's funny. <laughs> um, and then the performance. But that's, that's all of that. So this right here... Intel Core i9 13900K and then the 14900K stability issues drive game server providers to swap over to AMD. Now, you know what this feels like? This feels like a uh, a moment of, uh, what is it called? What is that? The old phone there, Bla a Blackberry moment. This feels like a Blackberry moment. Obviously it's not gonna happen to Intel. They're way too big. Um, actually, you know what? That's actually crazy to think that because this is actually pretty insane dude like for those of you that are unaware intel was having some serious problems with the 14900k and the 13900k just kind of like literally just dying on people because it, it was like running so hot and i don't ever since they like forced those bios updates and and uh to like reduce the overclock for the four i haven't been running into that problem where because I was explaining this to people because when I when the 14900 whatever like I want to say probably the first like four or five months that the CPU came out I still would prefer it over any of the AMD CPUs and I'm not taking a dump on AMD like the other fake reviewers but it, it's just dude I'm not I would love a, if I was using my ga computer for gaming I would absolutely use AMD 100% without a single question asked but there is no denying that there are some benefits of having intel when you are a content creator that's editing videos using rent i don't do any animation anymore i sold my animation channel but like for the animation stuff like like cinema 4d and blender and that kind of stuff and then also the artificial intelligence thing. so i'm not an obs as well like the quick sync and video so there is some benefits to intel and I'm not saying that AMD doesn't have a better CPU because they absolutely do. The 7950X in, I don't think the 3D would even benefit me as far as like content creation goes. Could be incorrect about that, but as far as I'm concerned, dude, using the 3D part without whatever, I'm not, I don't want to get too far into this. So yes, I'm fully aware that the 7950X or X3D, whatever, dude. I'm I'm aware the 3D version is better for certain things, but so yes, that CPU is technically better on paper, but it lacks the features that Intel has, and because it's lacking in that area, I personally see Intel as a better option for me. And the reason I had to, dude, it's so stupid. I really hate the war that that's between all these companies, like. Who the frig cares? And it's because I always have to explain myself because if I don't, everyone's going to be in the comments like freaking attacking me and starting some war. And it's, if it was to me, I wouldn't give a crap. But like when I see like all these replies to people, like just, you get my point, dude. I'm sure you're fully aware of this. If you've ever looked in the comments of a YouTube video of somebody like praising a single company or being a douchebag towards a single company if you look in the comments bro it's like a literal war 
But uh, so yes, I'm fully aware of this. And the reason I'm covering this is because the first like four or five months that I had my 14900K in my PC, dude, I have a really good cooling in a really good cooling. I have really good cooling. I mean, obviously I got three, six, nine, and then one on the back. So I have 10 fans in my computer. And I also have an EK Nucleus AIO, a 360 millimeter AIO from EK Nucleus. And yes, I'm fully aware. Okay, whatever. They, they went through a bunch of bull crap. I'm not into the drama space. I really don't really care, dude, about the drama. Everybody is, nobody's perfect. Everybody's going to make a mistake. Whether or not the company ends up correcting that is what matters to me personally. It's, it's like a really good example of this is zotac and gigabyte messing up and yet people still to this day think that zotac is one of the cheapest graphics card companies and you shouldn't buy them and the same thing for gigabyte one of the cheapest companies and you shouldn't buy them dude as like they made a mistake who cares everybody makes mistakes nobody is perfect except for people on youtube in the comment section and facebook and the replies and twitter as well instagram or yeah instagram too and TikTok. so everybody on social media is always like perfect and never done anything wrong in their life <laughs> but uh for for the majority of people that aren't in the on social media and just perfect friggin rosy flower doodles then you know like that's how i see it i don't even know why i have to explain all this stuff let's get back to the freaking the news here so anyways the cpu type there we got 30 percent of people using amd and then 70 percent of intel and this is where i'm getting at man like it's crazy that intel can do something this serious and just like still have that monopoly and the reason i'm saying and the reason that this concerns me is because nvidia is on a whole different level than intel right now like nvidia is about to so i forget what when this was so the x86 platform or whatever whatever the cpu thing is that windows normally operates on like this is how computers have operated for whatever the past like 40 years and what um i saw somebody talking about how nvidia was trying to replace the cpus with the like c whatever the graphics card i don't know what part of the graphics card would be the cpu i don't really probably i don't know but you, you see my point like so like at that point can you imagine this like i just want you to think about where nvidia is right now the monopoly they have right now and imagine if nvidia all of a sudden like enabled something in their graphics card where you don't even need a cpu you think there's a monopoly right now i'm gonna be honest if that the, the moment that even leaks like even leaks the moment that leaks i'm not even talking about a confirmation at least from a reliable source because let's be honest most people when they leak something is just a freaking guess let's be honest but as soon as that leaks from a reliable source i am instantly gonna put like 50 grand into nvidia stuff <laughs> <laughs> immediately i will do that instantly because i already regret so like i i mean i made a pretty big profit i had like a little bit over eleven thousand dollars in nvidia stock that i took out um when that when it started like going way up so i didn't like have like a ton in but like my profit was like it was probably like i live in new hampshire which we don't we technically don't have income tax but we do have to pay taxes on the on the stock market and i don't i haven't done my taxes this year yet or well i have done my taxes this year but like i haven't done it to where like how how i how much i know i'm gonna have to pay in taxes on it if that makes sense to you but uh like i had i had only had like like i want to say like four in there and as soon as the bull run started at when it got to 11 i was like fuck this dude i've like i've more than doubled my money right now i'm taking this shit out <laughs> so i did and dude it kept going up and if i would have left my money in it bro oh my god i'd probably be at like 30 or 40 grand right now <laughs> it's like no dude what um brain fart moment 
your boy got off topic pretty pretty quick there um but anyways can you imagine like the monopoly in video like you think there's a monopoly now bro like fucking <laughs> dude that would be insane um yeah i don't know why i was talking about this uh but, and then the last article is it's just uh intel denying the rma request for the, it's linked to everything i literally just said there's a lot of people that whatever the, the, they just ignored the instability issues with intel and because of that a lot of people like dell and all that are are swapping over to amd and um yeah dude that's just that part to me is pretty crazy that intel can do something so serious and it's like we went from like what 10 percent, and then we're like whoop 30. it's like if any other person like uh let's say yo why does my camera have a green tone to it hold up does it look green to you or like a yellow hue to it that's what it looks like to me hold up buttercup I, so I promise if this, if I like, if, if it take, if I mess this up. Now it looks washed out. Yeah, really? What are you doing there? All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Cause now I'm all, I'm going to get all freaking annoyed with my camera. I'm super annoyed right now. I didn't, I wasn't paying attention. I got a ton of LUTs. It's just one of the, for the, yeah, see that has a green hue to it. I don't like that. It looks really weird. And that's way too saturated. So this one looks good, but it's a little bit too much. Let's go here. <laughs> that's good enough for me, bro. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video guys. Uh, I get to figure out what's going on with my camera. I don't know why it's all tweaked. Out. It's probably a freaking windows up. Oh my God, dude windows <laughs> you know what the worst part about it is the worst part about windows updates is actually there's two things about windows updates one it always resets my microphone level and it irritates the living crap out of me because it's like oh i don't really know and then i go to edit and i go to like toss the video in my video editor and then i gotta like i gotta like i gotta take the audio from it speaking of features intel has that amd doesn't um like i'm not editing the audio like this is real time like audio editing this is a a feature in obs for intel cpus like do you hear any any noise there's literally a fan pointed at my camera so it doesn't overheat it's like a bajillion degrees out right now so i also have this cranked on high pointed right at me because unfortunately it's not good enough to cancel out an air conditioner so i do need something um and then the bass and the treble and all that kind of stuff dude my voice sucks so i really got to do a lot of editing with my voice i still have like a 11 year old squeaker voice unfortunately unless i like fake my voice and try to be all masculine and stuff and talk like this and i'm just superior and i'm gonna flex my muscles and my 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 chest gains and i'm gonna take my shirt off and show you my six pack and then i'm gonna squeeze my glutes in front of you and just come flex my anime body <laughs> but i'm <laughs> why the fuck am i talking about? i'm gonna go ahead and end the video i don't even know where i'm going with all this shit <laughs>